Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now this is going to be a pretty interesting video. In this video I will show you how to avoid Stripe account being suspended, terminated or shut down. And also I will tell you a possible solutions if you get uh, you know, your Stripe terminated or suspended or shut down. Now what, what previously happened to me is my Stripe account got almost closed because I was changing my business information um, you know, for the second time, right? Now I learned the hard way how to basically uh, do business on Stripe and through Stripe. So I will tell you a couple of my personal experiences on what will trigger Stripe to basically suspend your account or terminate your account or shut it down. Now, first of all is uh, what I would suggest you to do is don't have a high risk business. Now, high risk businesses, as you can see, this is what Stripe uh, considers their business, this business is high risk, right? Ad adult content like alcohol, cannabis, marijuana related products and services, uh, drugs, right? Gambling. So these are all high risk businesses. If you're a high risk business, you cannot really do business with Stripe because again, that's a high risk business and you know, Stripe will most likely terminate your or shut down your account, right? Now, are you a high risk business, right? What are some uh, businesses consider high risk. Now here's why some businesses are considered high risk, right? The nature of product or service, the nature of the merchant, um, you know, maybe you are selling digital products. These are high risk because people pay the money, but sometimes they don't get the product, right? So the most common high risk industries are gambling and adult, you know, pretty straightforward. Um, and yeah, just so you know, these are some of the high risk businesses that you need to um, basically, if you are the one, don't do business with Stripe because again, they will ban your account, right? Now, second thing is if you go here to your settings and if you go to account details or public details, don't change your official business information more than once. If you do this, uh, for example, if you know one day you have a business that is named Apple and the next day you name that business Microsoft, right? You cannot do that because Stripe will exactly pause your account, pause all of your transactions and immediately even close your account or terminate your account because you change your official business information more than once. Why this is not possible? It's really logical, right? Why would you want to change your business information more than once? Your business information is always the same. So it should be always the same, right? So that's the second thing. Uh, to do. Don't change your official business information more than once. Now, number three, give Stripe the needed documents to verify your business and personal info. Give them all the documents they need in order to get the most out of your Stripe account and get the most out of your business, right? Now, uh, what we basically had, we had an issue where, you know, we gave them all the documents, but we changed our official business information more than once. That's why they basically almost shut down our uh, operations, right? Now, if that happens, let's say if Stripe does terminate your account, what you can do, you can communicate with Stripe support immediately. Now, how we solve this problem, and this is one of the very rare ways how to do it, is you, you, you can go basically to Twitter. And on Twitter, you can go to Stripe support, make sure to go with this, um, you know, uh, verified Stripe support, and this is what it should say here, right? And then you can contact them here. Now, as you can see, uh, they sorted out a lot of our problems here. Uh, if you communicate early with them, they will be able to solve your problem within one to two weeks. I know this is a long time, especially for business, uh, but they will solve you uh, your problem very, very quickly. Now, you can also go to your dashboard. You can go to help and then you can go to basically support articles. And here what you can do is you can go and contact support. Now what we did is we contacted support via email. You need to just select a topic and then you can click email us and then you'll be able to contact Stripe support right here as you can see. So that's very simple, right? Um, these are two different ways how to contact Stripe support and also these are a couple of ways how to avoid Stripe account being suspended terminated or shut down. Now, if you want to know more about this, definitely comment down below and comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.